As with other areas of the body, jaw growth is usually a gradual process. However, in some cases, the upper and lower jaws may grow at different rates, which can cause a variety of functional problems, affecting a patient's ability to chew, speak, breathe, and sleep. Injuries to the jaws and birth defects may also affect jaw alignment. In some instances, a severe misalignment may affect the patient's appearance and cause psychological or emotional problems. Your orthodontist can correct bite or occlusion problems when only the teeth are misaligned, but a corrective procedure called orthognathic surgery may be necessary to correct misalignment of the jaws. This video tells you more about that surgery. Orthodontists are dental specialists who diagnose and treat teeth that are out of proper position and create a healthy, beautiful smile. Sometimes, though, there's more to a problem than just misaligned teeth. It may be that the upper and lower jaws that hold the teeth just don't fit. They may be too far apart for braces or other orthodontic appliances alone to be able to move the teeth into a normal bite relationship. Patients whose upper and lower jaws do not fit together well and who are no longer growing may need to consider orthognathic surgery to correct their jaw relationship. The altered positions of the jaws and teeth may be so severe that both orthodontic treatment and orthognathic surgery are required for correction. Orthognathic surgery is corrective jaw surgery. It's a procedure in which the oral and maxillofacial surgeon will move the bone of one or both of the jaws into the proper position in relation to the surrounding anatomy. This is done so that the orthodontist can continue moving the teeth and correct the patient's bite. Orthodontics does an excellent job of correcting problems when only the teeth are misaligned. However, orthognathic surgery may be necessary to correct misalignment of the jaws. Normal occlusion is described as a class one bite, and that's what we hope to achieve with the combined orthodontic, orthognathic surgery correction. What leads up to orthognathic surgery? Your orthodontist will discuss with you the limits of orthodontics in addressing tooth and jaw problems you might have, and will refer you to an oral and maxillofacial surgeon for further consultation. The plan for your treatment will be a team effort. As part of that plan, your orthodontist will align your teeth as well as possible before your orthognathic surgery. As your pre-surgical orthodontic treatment nears completion and before your surgery, your surgeon will review your medical history and conduct a thorough examination. The examination may include facial measurements, photographs, x-rays, dental impressions, and a bite recording. This is a good time to ask about your surgical procedure and pre- and post-operative treatment. There are four common types of orthognathic procedures to correct misalignments of the jaws. A class II malocclusion occurs when one jaw or both jaws grow inappropriately and cause an overbite. This is a very common condition that can generally be treated with orthodontics. However, sometimes the jaw protrusion is so great that it requires surgery as well as orthodontics. The surgeon segments and repositions the jaw or jaw segments to correct for the overbite and then secures them with special screws and plates and allows the jaws to heal. Depending on your condition, you may be able to go home the same day as surgery or be required to stay in the hospital for one to two days. In either case, it is important to drink adequate fluids to maintain proper nutrition. While the initial healing phase is about six weeks, complete healing of the jaws takes between nine and 12 months. Having all the information really helped prepare me mentally for the surgery going in. And then when it was done, I couldn't believe it how easy it was for me to recover from it. As orthodontists, our goals are to develop a better appearance, improved function, and stability. It's not uncommon for a patient to report that the most surprising change is the way they feel as they chew food. For some, it's only after orthodontics and orthognathic surgery that they're able to take a bite of a sandwich or comfortably eat a slice of pizza, often for the very first time. I can already see an immediate positive result. I'm able to touch my back teeth and chew food like a normal person, and uh, it's, been a, it's been a great experience, and I'm very thankful that I did it. There are many long-term benefits to orthognathic surgery and orthodontic treatment. Patients may find it easier to bite, chew, and speak. Teeth that fit together properly also tend to wear better, so we like to think that through the combination of orthodontic treatment and corrective jaw surgery, we are helping that healthy and beautiful smile last for a lifetime. Questions? Ask your orthodontist or your oral and maxillofacial surgeon for more information about orthognathic surgery.